Hi everyone, my name is Otis. You're welcome to Otalims Academy. So in today's video, we are going to look at uh, some of the plugins that you can use to customize uh, your website. So if you're using WordPress, this presentation will be beneficial to you because uh, why we choose WordPress? Because it is an open, uh, open, con open content uh, uh, management system that you can actually customize your site from the ground and for the aesthetic look of your website. So you need some plugins to be able to build your website that is catchy and attractive enough uh, for your customers. So we're going to look at uh, uh, eight different uh, plugins that will help you to do that so uh the first that we are looking at is what we call the uh the wordpress what you call the wp uh, fastest uh, cache so the speed of your website is very very important especially uh it has become or it has always been a ranking factor uh, when google is crawling indexing, indexing and ranking your page so if the low time of your page is low, the chances is that you're going to have a very, very poor uh, ranking on Google. So that's why. So, and there are so many factors that actually contribute to you, uh, to, to this, uh, for your, for your website, to, for the slow, low time of your website. So, but, um, I've just that uh, this plugin that I'm going to show you is going to help you to actually manage some of those files, compress it, and increase your load time. So it is called the WP fastest uh, uh, catch. So that's, you can see that here. So if you are having, if you're experiencing a slow load time, so what you need to do, go to your WordPress uh, website, log into your WordPress, go to the dashboard and go to where you have the plugins, then, uh, click add new plugins so when you get there just put wp fastest uh, catch so that will help you to uh, increase your load time because it's going to the cache system generate uh, a static uh, html and save all the files so then when it is rendering the site to your visitors it renders it as a, st a static uh, html page so if you have not done that, if you're experiencing that, just take advantage of it. Just go and do that right now because uh, that's not good if your site is, is not loading fast. So another important one is called the really simple uh, SSL. SSL means uh, secret, uh, security socket layer. So if you, uh, if you if you own a website, you know the importance of SSL. That's that little padlock that shows on your browser when they open your site. So what that means is that what that tells the your potential visitors, your potential customers, is that your site is secured, so they can do any transaction. That's what it shows. So and Google is also becoming. Uh, a fat, a ranking factor. Google now not only as a ranking factor. Google or some web browsers are beginning to display websites without a padlock as as unsecured, and that scares customers away, and that scares potential customers away. So that's why it is important for you to install uh, this plugin, the really simple, uh, uh, really simple SSL plugins. So uh, this is what happened. When, if you are using a hosting, uh, if you have a hosting, uh, if you're using a different hosting, or you're using any hosting, and you have your SSL certificate installed on your website, that does not automatically install that on your WordPress site. So what you need to do, so that's why you saw, I've had some, some of my clients complain that, oh, I bought the SSL certificate, but my site is not secured. So this is one of those reasons. Um, I don't know, probably that's why the, the, maybe that's how the uh, WordPress is, is actually configured. So once you install this really simple SSL uh, plugin, so it detects, it actually automatically detects uh, uh, your settings and configure your website to run over the HTTPS, then you now begin to see the padlock. So the first is you having the SSL certificate on your hosting plan 
Then once you've done that, you set up your, you've set up the SSL certificate on your hosting plan. Please, before, don't install the really simple SSL plugin before you set up your uh, SSL certificate on your web hosting. So you do that first, then you now install the really simple SSL uh, plugin so that will now detect the settings uh, connect with your with, with your hosting and properly install the SSS certificate so it is very, very important as very, very important for your for your uh, customers information to be secured encrypted when it's actually uh, traveling over a distance on, on, on the internet so so that the hackers don't even have so the hackers will not have access to it that's how important it is and it is a ranking factor with google so another is what we call the run signal web push notification so if you're a newbie uh in in digital marketing uh because one thing is to build your website another thing is to promote your website and if there are updates on your website uh it is your responsibility to push that uh update to your customers if you had a new product uh, you just added a piece of content or you just added to your blog so what this web push notification what it does is that it actually automates uh, it automates the process that once it is updated, those who the users on your site who have actually subscribed to your site. So this one signal actually send them this notification that there's an update on your website. It's one of the easiest way to increase user engagement. If you understand how to reach out to customers, how to send your email probably weekly or, or bi-weekly, or you're sending two to three emails in a week. So this actually help you because it is instantly once they subscribe, uh, once they are on your on your database. So this uh, one signal uh, web push notification, send them the notification, alerting them that something has happened on your site. So uh, if you can see it's just uh, it's just a simple plugin, like as I said, go to your go to your WordPress website and just go to the plugin section and uh, download this uh, this upload uh, sorry upload uh, or install this plugin and it's good to go setting it up just go to setting and just follow the prompt save 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 save. So uh, you, if, if you're not too conversant with it, you can just leave it in the default setting, just hit save, 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 save. So then you can come back later to actually look at it. So another is the almighty Yoast plugin. I love this plugin. Actually, when I started, I used that a lot because uh, it, it outlined, it helped in structuring your search engine optimization process, your SEO. Um, so if you have a website, you'll be hearing the word SEO, 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 because that's the science behind your visibility online. And if you want Google to actually crawl your site in the in their seat and rank it on, uh, on on its page, so you need your website to be optimized. So and if if you don't have that uh, programming experience where you have to go uh, the back end, go to, through your HTML. Uh, code to actually insert some of these uh, keywords insert uh, some of those content so what you need to do get this plugin it's easy to use so it actually is 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 uh, the the plugin is great because it takes into cognizance everything that google is looking for not only google all of that search engine your meta description your title description and uh, if it is falling short of uh, the search engine expectation it actually tells you and the, another good thing is that it ranks uh it, it scores you so and if you're not seeing that green light know that you still need uh, to improve on uh on your search engine optimization so it is mainly for uh on page uh, optimization so you can see how good this this plugin is that over 5 million uh, installation so that tells you that a lot of people are actually using it and I I, I, I I tell you this is a good plugin it has really helped me in my ranking and uh, well you could spend quite a little bit of time but it is easy to go so it tells you what to do at every point in time so uh, just go into WordPress install it and you're good to go 
Uh, you don't have to do anything. It shows on every page of your website. Uh, it's just it's kind of below the fold. So when you get into your, if you're editing your web pages, just scroll down, scroll down to the bottom so you can see some of those uh, spaces like the title, meta description. Uh, it tells you if you're using the paid one. So you, you see the synonym, uh, phrase, long time phrases. So it tells you everything. And it also tells you, it also help you to build the, the internal links. It tells you if they are not, uh, if your site is not linked internally. So that's how good this, uh, this plugin is. So another is what we call the S mush. So when you're optimizing your, your, your website and you find out that, uh, or when you're ready to go and uh, you find out that I, I've talked about your website speed, uh, so many other things could also cause your website to slow down when uh, uh, people are searching for some information. And that could be some, uh, it could be your images. So this plugin help you to optimize uh, your images. So, and it turns on the like all the, the lazy the lazy load and resize it compress it and to help uh, improve it for improve uh, the low time the speed and it is incredibly powerful i love it it's going to help you a lot because once if your if your low time is low your website is low the, the chances are that the customers are going to abandon your site and go to your competitors so you have to take every little details into consideration is very, very important. I have it on my site, so my load time is pretty great. So um, you can also take advantage of it. Try it out. Uh, it doesn't hurt. It's free. So, but uh, if you if you like it, you can also upgrade. So, but um, the free is also good. So you can actually use that. Uh, so another is uh, you see, um, we're talking about the WordPress. Uh, I said that WordPress is one of the best content uh, management system because about over 34% of web developers are actually using uh, uh, WordPress. So it's an open content management system. It has its downside. So as a result of this, it's vulnerable to, to hackers. So um, they're trying to crack your password, trying to do send you multiple uh, deny you DDoS uh, denial of service. So you need to guide against all this and uh, you want to guide your password. So what this WPS uh, uh, hide login, which is owned by the WP uh, Savior. So what that does is that it actually hides your, your login URL. So because when hackers are trying to, it's, it's a kind of, they become deceptive to them. So your real URL become invisible. So. Uh, that's a result, they, will, they won't be able to actually easily hack your site. So that's why it is very, very important. If you don't have it, um, try uh, try and install it. So, because that's why you have to also make your uh, login password to be, uh, choose a kind of some, I use uh, complicated uh, uh, password and that uh, God knows who, it's only just uh, a hardened criminal will be able to, to crack that. So, um, so, uh, it doesn't really uh, rename or change your files, so uh, no, and also it doesn't rewrite the rules. So you can, uh, if you don't like it anymore, if you don't want to use it, you can uninstall it. So uh, what happens that once you install it, it simply intercepts your page request. Um, it works on WordPress great. So just check it out. Check check it out because these are once you launch your website, your website becomes. Uh, so I've seen quite a lot of websites that are being hit left and right. So that's why I don't take security for granted. I have my malware scan, uh, WP, uh, hide login. I have all these plugins that I'm actually uh, discussing today. And that's why I'm just actually telling you that this could also help you uh, to help you build and customize your, your WordPress uh, website. So uh, this is also another to uh, if you are migrating your website. So um, take for instance that you've actually built a website and uh, probably maybe you're changing hosting or you don't like the domain name again. I've done that several times that I changed my domain name. So, uh, but it has its downside because if you didn't migrate well, that could also uh, uh, have an impact on your, on, on, on your ranking 
but that has nothing to do with this plugin. The plugin, what it does, it just it helps you to export your WordPress, or, or, uh, your WordPress uh, website, including your database, the media files, the plugins, and the theme. With even though even you don't have uh, a technical knowledge, so it's simple to use. So you can upload your sites into a different location with drag and drop. Uh, into WordPress. So that's how beautiful this uh, plugin is. So you see everything is becoming very, very simple. So you kind of do it yourself. Uh, but if you can't, you can also um, assource it for someone to do for you. But it's also important that you know what they're doing for you. But you can save uh, tons of money by doing that for yourself. It is not, it's not hard. It's easy, just follow the prompt, watch the video. So, so we'll be coming with different videos where how to install this plugin. So don't forget to visit our YouTube channel or Talents Academy. So you see most of our videos showing you how to build your website and now we're talking about how um, you can make it look good and how you can protect your website. So um, I'm going to uh, the pop-up, uh, the pop-up. So um, this is actually going to be like uh, um, our last, uh, the, not, uh, sorry, uh, in this presentation, this is, uh, I talked about, uh, talk, uh, talked about uh, a plugin. So this is, uh, um, one of the last uh, uh, plugin that we're discussing today. So uh, I, I believe that you visited so many sites and you see probably when you just get into a site, you see uh, a kind of a pop-up telling you, please, here, yeah, I'm here, I'm the window, I'm the window, I'm the door to, to the site. So, and uh, it tells you, and you want to sign in, sometimes they use it to advertise uh, for some discount or they want you to just sign into the pop-up. So. Uh, what is the purpose of that pop-up is just to help you to engage your visitors, capture lead and optimize your conversion because uh, once it pops up, so uh, there's a message that comes with it and I said a 20% discount and it requires you to just put in your email or your name, just simple information uh, for you to get uh, that certain discount or probably you want to, uh, you have some customized uh, training or you have some, uh, you want to get future discount on some product. So uh, this is great. This pop-up opt-in, the best pop-up opt-in is great. So uh, check it out on WordPress when you go, like as I said, you go to the dashboard, go to plugin and just put it, play with it. So uh, it's very, 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 very good because uh, once this lead are captured, it stores that in your database so you can remarket uh, or retarget these customers by um, sending them emails, looking at their preference. So um, like as I said, I'm coming to the end of this presentation for today. So I uh, thank you for uh, spending time to watch us on the channel today. So, and I look forward to see you uh, in our subsequent video. And don't forget before you leave to subscribe to this channel, just below that point, you see the, uh, this, uh, the, the subscribe button, the, the red button there. So just click it and, and subscribe to us so, so that you can get some of our customized video about how to grow your business online, how to set up your website and how to protect your website, just like as we're doing today. So have uh, awesome videos on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow me also on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn and all other social networks. So let's build together. So I hope to see you uh, next week. Thank you.